What is up, my family, friends, and fans? I have a special guest on my vlog today. Hey, Doc yeah, Black, yeah, you guys yeah. know him. Um, he's an underground artist, soon to be not so underground. Um, yeah, he's been traveling, doing his thing, and uh, you know, you didn't know that I could uh, spit a little bit, right? So I think, you know, I think, I think I'm gonna try, it, right? Okay, <laughs> let me, let me, let me see what's up. Okay, I'm here with my homie Dogs Black, yo. He's the best in the biz. He's always laid back because he smokes like he's whiz. Khalifa, hey, it might be cheaper if you buy me this shot. Uh, oh, now you're gonna go ahead act like you forgot. Hey, <laughs> hey, bop, 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 bop. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up right now. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> no, um, yeah, you're out here. You're out here. Yeah. So, well, in all like seriousness, though, we were actually having a conversation about a very he heavy subject, and the subject is suicide. And if you guys have been following me for a little while, you know that I lost my dad to something like that and a couple friends. And recently, it's been popping up a lot in my life. And ironically, Docs is live too. So we were having a conversation about that. <clears throat> and, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, I've, and you guys know, I've said it before, that I've had thoughts, you know, um, about it. We all it have. We years, all have those moments. Year, you know, yeah, like years ago. And, uh, but I got through it. You know, like, you think at the time of whatever's going on in your life that, that that's just, you're like, okay, I, I've had it, like, I've been through, you know, rock bottom after rock bottom after rock bottom, and things just keep happening, you know, and then you're like, well, the only way to stop it is to leave the body, right? Like, you think, okay, I need to stop it because nothing's stopping it. There's other ways to stop it, and that's what we sure, were talking about, sure. right? So you want to uh, kind of, like... Well, I mean, you know, we uh, like I was saying, you know, we all kind of go through those moments, yeah. but it's really about understanding, you know why we feel that way or mm -hmm. kind of trying to process why other people might feel that way um, especially when it happens to people that are close to you and that yeah. you may or may not see signs for um, you know everybody goes through things that, uh, to their own capacity and you know are able to deal with it on different levels yeah but I think what's important to kind of consider is what can take you out of those moments. Um, you know, they say hindsight is twenty twenty, and that it's easier to kind of see, you know, the coulda, shoulda, wouldas of life. But, you know, it's just important to kind of appreciate those moments that are right in front of you or, you know, being able to see things as a lesson or as an opportunity yeah. to better yourself. Um, sometimes it's easier than others to kind of process those moments in life. Um, and, you know, I think it's just kind of important to not only have a, a, a mental, a personal mental understanding of, you know, obviously the pros and cons of, of anything in life, uh, you know, that makes us happy and makes us sad, but also the people who we don't communicate that with. Um, yeah being that everybody kind of has their own things that they go through. Um, and so it's, you know, it's, it's a hard topic, but it's definitely something that is better talked about than it is held in. A lot of the times we do tend to like circulate things in our minds or, right. you know, kind of just delve into the rabbit hole of, of what ifs or the problems or, you know, whatever it is that's going through our, you know, through our minds or hearts at the time. But you know, you just gotta find a way to stay positive. You know, you gotta find a way to understand that, you know, suicide as common as it is and as um, familiar as it's been coming, you know, becoming as of late, you know, it's important to remember the other people that are in your corner, you know? Like it's kind of selfish to forget about people like that or people that, are looking out for your best interests or right. are, you know, are trying to get you out of those negative yeah. spurts in your life. You so know? the argument I feel like someone that's actually going through that would be, well, you don't know what I'm feeling. You mm. can't help, you know, no matter what you say or do, it's not, you're you not can't misused. fix my situation, yeah. you know? And, and if you're, if you're going through that right now, you know, and you feel like, well, nobody's helping, nobody can help, or if you even feel like, 
you know, your friends are reaching out, but you, you don't feel the connection, like, oh, well, they, you think in your head, well, they don't really care anyway, like, you know, that's well, not true, A, yeah. but B, also, like, you gotta have the ability to get yourself out of it, and know for a fact it's gonna get better like that that's the law of the universe i feel like it's it, it goes up and down that's life life is sure. like a roller coaster sure. and sometimes those dips are hard and really hard and you feel like you can't get through it and you're like this is it i've had enough i felt like that i know what it feels sure. like sure. so but you got to understand and know that it's going to come back up eventually even if it's not right away you got you got to see the end of the tunnel though like it's no matter what's going on that emotion that you feel that loneliness or that pain it's going to subside at some point something in your life is going to get better even though you don't know what it is nobody knows what it is nobody knows their their timeline in life you can't look ahead and cheat like a book you know like oh let me see what my this 10th chapter in my life is when you're on the first or second you yeah. know what i mean like it's you don't know so do, do you feel like people uh on a, on an individual basis are better at processing or dealing with their own issues internally uh or do you think that like there's something like okay when people pass or something people are always like oh i could have done this i could have done that do you think but, that, do you think one is more important than the other like having people try to break you out of that funk or you think it's important for a person themselves to kind of break out of i that think funk? it's important for the person themselves to break out of it because in other situations too like let's just say you see you have a friend she's in a bad relationship right he beats her whatever she can't see herself outside of the relationship mm. so it's similar to someone that has those thoughts mm. i can't see myself getting out of this so no matter what you say you can't communicate with someone who is not able to hear you you know what i mean like you're from the outside looking in right. yeah. but they have a whole like at that point you're speaking two different languages you know sure. like you're sure. saying you're gonna get through it and they're thinking you don't know like what do you know you you're you got like you know what i mean like they could oh i only say this because i've been there and i've had numerous people tell me you know you know i in my line of work like i i interact with people that have been through stuff and they tell me i'm i'm one of those that people can kind of confide and be like well look i've been through this i've been through that i've been through this because they know that i have been through a lot of the things that they've sure, been through sure. um but um and also i feel like it's important to build that for yourself anyway like it's always a bonus and a plus and it's always good to have a support system like that helps for sure yeah. but i think more importantly you need the tools yourself to like get yourself out of it because at the end of the day it's you and you yeah. you know like yeah. positivity is strong you know and yeah. sometimes we take it for granted you know i think uh in in our current state of like society it's easy to kind of focus on you know what's next you know always focus on what's next the pressure of like having to do something next as far as right. you know pay this pay that and focus on whatever is coming next in your life and it's easy to kind of like um, lose sight of the present and what has the ability to take you out of those moments in the present and a lot of that is an internal struggle that you know th there are a lot of people that feel lonely out there and don't really have people to talk to obviously that's why they have like the suicide lines and stuff right. like that but but a lot of that you know is very surface in my opinion it's very like you know You're almost right. superficial like You're you right. know like a therapist like they get paid to to be there and to listen but are they really listening i mean it's good to be able to have that outlet but ultimately, it's really an internal thing that if you're not able to, you know, see yourself processing things or understanding different people's perspectives as far as like um, if other people pass away or, or commit suicide, you know, everybody has their things that they're going through. Right. So it's just like, you know, to each their own. But at the same time, you have to be compassionate about people and their uh, internal struggles that you might, might may or might, may not see. And, you know, at, on an individual basis, as long as you are working on your own mental health, I think it kind of will show itself in your relationships and, and how you deal with other people and what you recommend they 
do or the advice you might give people. It all starts from within. It's all about right. how you balance your own emotions and uh, understanding of, of when things are good and when things are bad. You know, can't have one without the other. But you know, it's up to you to actually process those those feelings. And sometimes it's easier said than done. Right. Know? It's not. It's not easy. You know. Yeah. And and but there's always little. You gotta celebrate your little small successes, right? Like, I used to have a crazy temper. Mm -hmm. Like, like it was not okay. Like, I didn't know how to use words to like handle my anger, so I would just like hit people, and and it's like like an animal, you know? Like, like I feel like it's very primitive that that sure. mentality because I didn't know how to articulate my emotion. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't know how to communicate. Yeah. But I step one is also like realizing, oh, this is a problem, <laughs> you know? True. And and so that's and but you gotta you gotta kind of like celebrate that, like oh. I, I noticed something about myself that I didn't know before. I understand this is a problem. Now, you don't stop there and be like, well, I have a problem. You make it worse, right? You're like, oh, well, now I'm just a bad person and I can't help it. I'm just like this. And you go and accept it. No, you don't accept it. You'd be like, no, I, I want to change. Yeah. And if you want to change, you can change. I'm yeah. not like that at all anymore. I'm very understanding. I was just telling him about, you know, I'm not into politics, but I can understand both sides and people are like how can you do that you're Mexican or you're a minority or whatever like how the hell can you understand the other side it's because I'm extremely understanding I can I have the ability to put myself in somebody else's position and take into consideration everything about them that I know and be like oh so this is why they think that way I may not agree with them but I understand there's a difference between agreeing and understanding sure. so now I, I haven't even had an argument in years like with with anybody and to go from like a little hothead to completely understanding and compassionate is quite the change you know so if I, I mean if I could do it anybody could do it because I was bad like like I it's just it was just not okay <laughs> but <Dang it>. yeah <laughs> but I've always been nice yeah, 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 yeah that's it. no but yeah like like you just have to want to change you know and if you're having internal conflicts, you can you can play the game of life and figure out like okay, I gotta figure this out. What makes me happy? What gets me out of this mood? What what? How can I like elevate my situ like mood or, or my emotion or how how can I get out of this? Yeah. And you gotta play it like a game. You know what I mean? Like okay, I'm at level one right now. I gotta beat this game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so you gotta figure it out and. Yeah, I mean, Everybody's it's, it's kind of, uh, yeah, and it is a little easier said than done sometimes, but, you know, it's it's just about sticking with it, and, yeah. you know, the people that I have had past due to things like suicide uh, have all been real strong people, mm -hmm. and they've all been motivated and, like, creative and, like, really just good people, Same. but the, the way that it ends up happening is that they're ability to process uh, those negative moments just overshadow the positives you know and there's a positive and but negative I everything. I can't like get this across enough but it's temporary everything in life is temporary much, everything in life much. is temporary yeah, so that emotion it. that you're going through that pain you're going through is temporary I don't care if it's lasted for five years it's not gonna last the rest of your life yeah. Like it's it's gonna subside at some point. Some it's gonna get better, and you gotta wait it out and tough it out and thug it out <laughs> until it's better. Yeah. And, you and know. And in reality, you know, some people have been molded by hardship and are used to things being difficult and the pressure and you know, making you feel a certain way, making you feel less than you are, mm -hmm. unmotivated or whatever, you know. Some people are used to that, so when they go through it, it doesn't seem as bad as, say, somebody who doesn't normally go through that's that true. and then they get hit with it. Yeah, that's true. And, that you know, those kind of things, you know, you can never really measure by anything but experience, you know, and you know, it's just important to, uh, to understand that that's pretty much all life is. It's just a series of experiences. And, totally. it, you know, you just got to be able to appreciate the experience that you're going through as either a lesson or a blessing or whatever it is. 
but that there's always going to be the next experience, you know, for us to, to think that um, cutting it short or taking the easy way out is an answer. You know, it's definitely more of, of a cop out, in my opinion, you know, bless it to all those that, that have had, that have gone down that route, you yeah. know, but at the same time, you know, it's 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 the easy way out, you know, that it, it leaves a lot of unfinished books out there. And, you know, we are meant for so much more that it's it's hard to kind of throw in the towel or think of throwing in the towel without understanding that we have so much to experience still right and you know everything that's brought us to this point uh whether it's a good point or a bad point in your life you know it's based on decision makings and how you choose to feel you know how you choose to that's very live true your life you, you know, can it's all a choice. choose yes it's a decision, exactly for sure exactly for sure that the, i've learned that recently and i'm you know i've had some time on this earth and <laughs> i've You're 21 uh, right you just turned 21? yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Cheers. Hey. laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yuck. Um, anyway, um, what was I even saying? <laughs> it's all choices. Yes, it's all about exactly. choices. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout okay. out to Forty Water. Everybody got choices. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, like it took me a while to really grasp that concept though. Oh, they're, they're yeah, calling the time card on us. But, um, but it does, like everything is a process. And trust me, you're gonna get through it. It's, it's gonna get better, all right? So Stick with it, stick with it. There's a we'll reason you stumbled fight. upon this video, okay? And there's a reason why you're here. And even if you don't know it yet, you will, okay? Yeah, like you are important and if ain't nobody told you today, you heard it here first. It's yeah. Very important. Stick with it. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head up for real. Yeah. So like there's a lot more to life than, than any of them hardships that we go through. You know what I mean? Stay yeah. positive. So always remember to be nobody else. Beautiful, wonderful, intelligent, important ass you. Be you.